Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and uh, we're just starting a new series today. And we're, as you can see, we're on our main menu here. Um, going to start out with very simple things here. I'm going to be doing a permadeath story mode run. Yes, that was a perma a purposeful pause in there. A permadeath story mode run. Normally, I do a normal story mode run. And pick up on you know the usual stuff but with the echoes update i want to do it as a permadeath run um we're going to do it with standard permadeath settings i'm not going to go crazy with this we're also not doing it as a no starter ship we are going to do a starter ship we're going to do story mode the whole way and we're going to see how well we survive and if we die the game gets deleted and i have to start over again and we'll just keep the series going until well until when well as you know we usually go until the end of the story itself, until the main storyline is done. We're going to take this one to the very limits. We're going to go all the way to the end. We are going to go all the way to the center of the galaxy on this one. So we're going to do the story mode all the way to the end. We'll jump to Eisentum, uh, which is where we usually end up, because that's the you know galaxy I usually choose at the end of the story mode. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work our way to the center of the galaxy again. We'll get the Atlas Seeds. We'll get uh, our settlement going. We'll do uh, Under the Sea, or no, it's not, not called Under the Sea. That's that's a song from Disney. Um, we do a um, uh, all the little different side quests as we go. There are certain ones we may not complete, but we are going to try to complete out every single one of the little side quests. So this is going to be a very intensive run through. So I just want to get you all prepared for that. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to start a new save, of course. And I'm going to rename the save when we get in there as well. We're going to go custom, and we're leaving everything the way it is. I'm not going crazy again. I'm not going to make everything challenging. and all I'm leaving it when we get into the permadeath setting here. Everything is staying right where it is. Scanner recharge is going to be standard. I'm going to leave it that way. Save deleted. We're leaving it that way. Um, purchases, we're going to leave as standard. We're not going to check expensive. Same thing with in inventory stack, uh, stack limits. They'll be restricted, not harsh. So we'll have a little extra room in our inventory. Uh, enemy strength, I'm going to leave standard, just like it shows here. I haven't changed anything. Uh, predators are on. Hostile, hostile. Um, tutorial re will remain enabled, and we are going to lock. The only thing we're going to change is the difficulty settings we're going to lock, so we can't come back in here and change things around. Uh, standard reputation and standing gain. Okay, So everything is going to remain like this, and we're just going to go ahead and start the game. Now, here I can't rename anything. We can just go ahead and start it. So we'll go ahead and get that moving along. And the first time we save it, or it saves for us, we will go ahead and um, rename the save. We'll probably call it something along the sky of Elon Paul's permadeath story mode or something like that. That way we got it going here. Now, you notice that my audio is a little bit loud. I do apologize. Um, it seems to be cutting in and out, and I don't have a solution for it. So hopefully this will work out okay. The way I have it positioned right now. So let me just do some adjustments to my microphone here. There we go. There we go. Okay, that looks like it's okay now. And we should be starting the game any second. Again, it's story mode, so we're going to have to start it out, right? Initialization. Now, hopefully you can hear the audio in the background. I think I have it turned up enough. I may be turning that up a little bit. There we go. That should be loud enough. I'll let her get through her intro. And there we go. So now we're looking around. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself back into first person view, third person view. And you see I start out really low, but fortunately we have some sodium near us right away. And it wants us to make sure we pick up plenty of sodium to charge up. 
tells us to scan. We'll go ahead and do it, but our scanner's damaged, so we have to collect things to fix that. So let's go ahead and do that. We need 75 of that to get going here. There we go. Gonna find some rocks, right? That's salt. We don't need salt. You know what we do need? We do need carbon. Let's go ahead and grab that too while we're here. Salt. Can't get the pure ferrite. We can get some more carbon. We got some containers over here. Let's see what we got. We can use the rusted metal and we'll turn that into ferrite later. If we decide we need it. Condensed carbon. That's a good thing to get. More carbon. Regular carbon. Okay. Okay. Now, we don't have any idea which direction we're going, and I don't think we have enough ferrite yet, right? Correct. So let's go ahead and continue to gather up rocks. Hopefully we can find some that we can get. Carbon is what we're going to need definitely more of. That's ferrite. We'll go ahead and grab that. All right, so this looks good. See, it's counting on the right-hand side for us, too. Okay, good. Not quite 75 yet. This should probably get us over the edge here, I think. Yep, got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and repair this. And I'm going to move it down and out of the way. So, we have to recharge our hazard protection with the sodium we just got. So that give us our achievement, as you can hear by the music. Looks like we're on not only a planet like this, but we got Diplos here. That is really, really cool. We're going to need... More ferrite, so I'm going to grab that while I'm here. I'm not interested in the salt, but i got a funny feeling we're going to be getting some of that as we go. We need to install our visor. Okay, let's go ahead and make that. I think we have enough carbon to do it. Yes, we need 50. We're good there. Because we need that. All right. We'll need more carbon because we're going to be running low really quick. And if we scan that, we'll get the secondary elements, too. I suggest doing so. Because, see, we're going to get condensed carbon out of it. That's going to be really handy. It looks like we need more sodium. We're going to need it quick, or we'll need some place to duck under. Always grab as many of these crystals as you can. Because we'll need that later. All right. Let's scan see if we got anything around here. We got some sodium nearby. Let's grab it. Yep, it wants us to charge that first, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we don't need that. But let's see what's inside. Maybe we'll just get nanites, but you never know. Okay, good. So we got more sodium here. Good. Ooh, condensed carbon is your friend here. If you can gather up some of that anytime you run across it, please do so. It charges your uh, your mining beam a lot more efficiently than anything else. Okay, good. All right, so we need sodium. Let's grab some more. More up there. Like I said, unless we find a cave, we're going to have to... That's a creature that's glowing that wasn't sodium. Radiation protection. I know, I know. We're almost there. Hold on. There we go. That gets us a little bit more breathing room. Where's our ship at? That way. We're running the completely wrong way. Let's head that way. You're probably even wondering that yourself. You're going the wrong way. Yeah, I know. I... We'll need a lot of this. So we might as well grab it as we go. And as we go, that is the whole point. We need to grab things as we go. Can't stop too long at any one place. I know I'm stopping here, but I definitely need the dihydrogen. If you can keep your beam hot like this, you can gather up the resources a little quicker, and occasionally it'll pick up extra resources. Former crystals, so it's always a good thing. Alright. 
Let's keep going. Is this a cave? Nope, just a hole. This is not a cave. This is just an overhang, so it's not going to help us any. We need oxygen, too. I'll go grab it over here while I can. It's only a little bit, but it might help. Another scan while we can. We're looking for more sodium. And I'll grab that over here while we are at it. Okay, good. Where'd that oxygen go? There it is. Look at that guy. I'm going to scan him real quick. That way I have him in my library. We're going to need to charge soon. Let me see if I can get to this other sodium before we do. It's a good thing it's actually night because you can see the sodium a little better. Okay. Oh, that's where our ship is. ship is right below us. Let's head that way. we got a sodium on the way. We'll grab that too. Some ferrite dust. We should really scan that because we don't know what the secondary element is. Oh, it's oxygen. Go figure. So now we'll start getting oxygen from them. Good, good, good. You know the thing I haven't seen yet? I haven't seen any hazardous plants. You might have all seen it already, but I haven't. Alright, got nothing on the way there. So we will just gather things as we go. A little more carbon. For the carbon nanotubes we will eventually have to make. Dense carbon again as we can get it. And there's our ship. Classic. The classic ship. We got some oxygen nearby. We'll go ahead and grab that too. I don't know why there's that glitch here, but there is. A little visual glitch. Alright. Let's go ahead and check this out. Scenario iteration number deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. It emptied. I missed that. Sorry. But fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. We're going to broadcast. Received. Detected. And compliant. Position log. System integrity scan initialized. So. Let's check out the damaged machinery. Sometimes you get good stuff from them. Just nanites this time. Do us some buried technology, and you know my trick at getting that. There we go. He's always going to do it in first person. Most of the time. We're going to go ahead and grab the rusted metal. Because we're going to get to a point where we can have certain things. There we go. Sodium, and we got dihydrogen. Okay. Good deal. Now, it doesn't appear to be any... Now, there might be a cavern over there. It's hard to say. There might be one over here. Can't find any. But let's go ahead and get in the ship. That'll help us out a little bit. Okay. Online. Atlas connection. Intermittent. Launch thrusters. Offline. Pulse engine. Offline. By myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. I'm going to read the log, but... Unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion pilot should perform maintenance. Suge select desired repair path. We're going to repair the ship's systems. Self-guided repairs protocols initiated. Pulse engine is damaged. We need hermetic seal metal plate. So let's check it out real quick. So you see my radiation protection is going up. So we're going to wait here just a couple minutes. Let's take a look. So we got this damaged and this damaged. We need pure ferrite and a dihydrogen jelly. So what is it telling us to do? Press E to exit. Well, I want to wait a couple moments. I want to get that all the way up to maximum. Then I'll jump out of the ship. I'm sure that sounds good to you too. Best way to do it anyway. Yep, I still see my audio is cutting down a little bit. I'll have to check that out. All right. 
And we're almost there. There we go. We're out of the ship. So, first thing to do, watch the bottom right. There it is. Get, our, get a metal plate. To do that, it wants us to collect ferrite dust, which we've done. We need to make a metal plate, so let's do that. There it is, and now we can put this in our ship. Good. Stage one. Now it's going to tell us our next stage. Partially complete. Board the starship. Go ahead and do that again. Iteration. Functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesis required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Request assistance. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Okay, so we got to get out of the ship again. Since it's telling us over there. Okay. Let's jump out, shall we? And... Up here inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary chart. Yay! Now we hit the planetary chart right here. Navigational data received. There'll be a nearby location we can go to and get our medic seal. Up there. Which is 909 units away. Now, here is the difficult part. You notice my, my life support is going down. So we're going to need to charge that up. So we're going to use our oxygen right now. There we go. And that'll keep us going. Now, you'll notice... I've also got these blue flowers here. The deuterium rich will give us a boost to our jetpack. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And thrust and jump. And that was not successful. There we go. That's much better. And you'll see I see things over here. Be careful. You're not too far over the ground. You will get hurt. And especially if you're in permadeath mode, you could die. While we're here, we can't get the big crystals over here, but we can get the littler ones. And you always have an incoming storm here, so make sure you get that sodium while you can. Trust me, you'll want this stuff. It is very valuable to have when you're first starting. There we go. And, the, and your radiation protection is going to fall quicker in these storms. So keep that in mind. Hey, found a uh, bad guy. That's cool. We got enough to give us a full boost, but you notice our run juice runs out real quick. Looks like we got a little bit on the way, so we can get that. Let's go ahead and do it, because we're going to need it. Falling fast, as you can see. Hopefully we'll make it. Be careful of those plants, because they can damage too much sometimes. Ah, we got one more plant. That might just saved us. Yeah, pretty sure I wouldn't have made it on my own. Looks like we're just barely going to make it. We're going to get damaged here. Shield's about to go down. There we go. Okay, let's see how much damage we took. Fortunately, we didn't take any. Fortunately not. Okay, so we took a little bit of damage to our health, but that's okay. It didn't actually kill us. So we got fortunate here. We'll wait till our shield recharges before we go anywhere. We can get some hollow archive. Go hit the hollow archive here to get our next set up here. Six of seven locks corrupted. The entry follows. No one making this recording in case. Leaving behind something in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Recover the supplies. The log finishes and the machine wars to life spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Okay. 
So there we go, we got our hermetic seal, and we got some damage. Check out the things inside these places, like this. It'll give you navigation data. Navigation data is very handy in recalling your ship to you when it's fully repaired, and as long as you have enough juice in your launch. And the storm is clearing now. We do need some ferrite dust, so we got to get that. But we got plenty of rusted metal. We'll just need more for the beginning. All right, looks like we're fully charged and healed up. So let's move on to the next area. Looks like we got some credits. Good. Not bad. Almost 2,000. That's pretty good. All right, and now we can make it back. So we'll go grab some ferrite dust on the way because we're going to need it. And we are going to have another storm coming in. Do we have anything around here? Like we have some sodium over here. Let's grab it. I'll do a quick scan. So our ship is over that way. Looks like we have some sodium in this direction. We'll check it out. Ah, good. A couple of them. Now I want to make it back to the ship, so I'm going to hold off gathering any more of that stuff. Make sure your jetpack is full when you do this. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to go down the hill, one of these plants here. And we'll head out. Try to stay close to the ground because it's going to run out any second. See? Just land. And that way you've saved yourself. A long journey. That's the quick way down, but you got to be careful. Ah, we definitely need more of that, so let's get it, because we need to make some pure ferrite, and we're going to need more ferrite dust for that. We're fully charged. We're about halfway now. We're about to get the reminder. There it is. All right, let's go. Ship's flying overhead. Good sign. These are very good over here, because these are small rocks that you can gather for the ferrite dust. But they're also good for strafing with your ship, so keep that in mind. Here's that plant again. Now these guys will hurt you, but if you take them out, they'll give you some oxygen. See? So, take them out. This is very handy. Raw berries. The plants of the, of the area you're in will give you certain things, like this one gives us life support. But we've got to get a move on here. I don't have time to discuss it. I see no more sodium until we get all the way up here. And that was not what we're looking for. So sodium's going to be a big play a big part here since we can't find any caves. There we go. Didn't see any more sodium there, so we'll have to take what we got and go. Alright, here we are. Back to our ship. So let's climb back in and see if we can't repair this bad boy. So, there we go. We have our hermetic seal. Let's go ahead and get it. That takes care of that. Okay. So we have to take care of launch thrusters. We need a dihydrogen jelly, which is why we're gathering those blue crystals. And we need pure ferrite. Okay, let's do it. So we can craft the dihydrogen jelly from the crystals that we've got. There we go. Now we can insert it. We still need pure ferrite. So it's telling us pure ferrite is needed, but it's telling us to exit the ship. Why? we now have our first thing. We can now deploy a portable refiner. So we hit Z. We got our portable refiner, but we need a metal plate. That's why we were gathering up the ferrite dust. Let's go ahead and do that. We made one. Now we can make our refiner, which you can take with you later on. In the portable refiner for fuel, you can use condensed carbon or regular carbon. I'm going to use condensed for now because once we take it out of there, it'll turn into regular carbon as well. And what we need to do is make pure ferrite, which we need 50 ferrite dust to do. So let's go ahead and exit this for just a second. I could put those other things in to get us ferrite dust, but that'll just take a little while. We'll go ahead and do it this way first. That should be enough. Yeah, we got enough now. Okay. So we need 50 pure ferrite. I'm going to bring this down to 50 for efficiency's sake. It's going to take 
Look at that, 15 seconds, so 10 seconds now. I'll let it complete that cycle. And we now have pure ferrite. There we go. I'm going to put this in our inventory, and we're going to take these and turn them into regular ferrite, as you can see. Now, I think we had seven extra beyond 250, so this thing can only ha handle 250 in its inventory. So I'm going to hit the X button to add more at 243. There it is. And I can take seven more and drop it in. All right, so it's out of my inventory right now. So let's jump in the ship real quick, and we're going to repair it with the 50 pure ferrite. Our ship is now fixed. Congratulations. Okay, and it tells us that the launch systems are ready to go, and we should go ahead and leave, but we really need to get that portable refiner. We'll do that in a minute. So I'm going to move my rocket launcher and my photon cannon over here, and I'm going to spread these out a little bit, like that, in order to make it better to uh, add stuff to this. We do need to upgrade our ship and get more stuff in it, or get a different ship that has more slots in it. So we'll do that later on. We don't have anywhere near the units to buy a new ship, so we'll worry about that later. This is our multi-tool, as you know. Don't have a lot in it yet. Not even a terrain manipulator. We'll get that later. So, let's organize things while we wait. So our dihydrogen is kind of a good thing. I'm going to hang on to these. Dihydrogen is a good thing. I'm going to put the carbon and the condensed carbon next to each other. We're going to put the ferrite dust there, and we'll line it up with pure ferrite and magnetize as it comes along. And we're going to keep this over here near the hydrogen, because I think we'll need those. I put things I might use or sell down here, and the things I just strictly use I always put on the bottom row. So, that's how I like to do it. Uh, since this is running a little bit lower, I'm going to go ahead and grab this and drop it in. It uses up all of it, unfortunately, but we do need more oxygen, and we do need to come across some. So, while we're here, while well, we get some stuff, this is going to take a while. So, why don't we gather up materials on our own while we're here? What do we have? We got a good amount of carbon and condensed carbon. We could use some ferrite dust. We're making that. Um, we do need copper, but we don't have a terrain manipulator, so we can't gather it. So let's gather up what we can, like ferrite dust, like more carbon. Can't get that yet. That's giving us carbon. What else will it get us? Oxygen. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now, one thing we want to get at some point, I don't need salt. One thing we want to get at some point is we want to get nanites. We're going to need those to purchase things. So, let's see how many animals there were here. I'm going to check out the birds real quick. Or flying creatures. Anyway, we've got six animals to discover. Why don't we see how many we can discover real quick. And maybe we can find all six, which will give us a nanite bonus. There's four. I don't know what 5 and 6 are going to be, because I'm not seeing a lot of red dots floating around me right now. Let's check our escape menu. If we go up to discoveries, it'll tell us. Oh, that's a pretty cool creature. Uh, we got a ground and an underground. I haven't even seen an underground. So there's that. So we got a ground-based creature still that should have a red dot someplace, which we may not find very easily. And the underground creatures are harder to find. With our scanner, what you can do is look for things that are submerged. And it might give you access to the underground. To a cave. Looks like this is almost done. We'll pull this in, uh, put it in our inventory. Let's kick that back on. It's not going to have enough fuel, so let's load it back up. Oh, there's one. Okay, so that might have been the ground-based unit. Yes. So we have one more underground creature to discover, and we need to find a cave that it would inhabit. But we're running a little low. So let's go ahead and hop in the ship for just a minute, and then we'll take a look for a cave. So we want to do this methodically. We want to be very careful about what we do. We are in permadeath mode, after all. We can get injured. We can get damaged. So we want to make sure we have everything we need. And you'll see that if you look at our ship, your launch systems are at 50%. As soon as I take off, it's going to be empty. So we want to make sure that I don't land anywhere other than probably a landing pad someplace. 
So keeping that in mind, let's set this thing charge up a little bit to the end here and we'll see if we can find a cave nearby. We'll head in a different direction than we came from. Which I want to say we came from the direction in front of us to begin with. Okay. So we came from that direction and I think we might have came from that direction as well. So let's go this way and just see if we can find something real quick. Keep low to the ground. Fortunately, the animals don't seem to want to attack us, so that's good. Looks like we got some sodium up there. We can use that to keep ourselves going. Looks like we've got a better patch over here. Let's head over here. Hmm. Found a cache as well, plus some more condensed carbon. Now, um, we will have some sentinels appearing soon so get what materials you can like that because they like to I'm not gonna get it this time they'd like to uh, get mad at you if you do things oh we can get this too all right good and the sodium where did it go it was right here and do we have a cave here did I find a cave by accident it's <gasps> a big patch Ooh, okay we got we got lucky here it's not a lot but it's enough All right, we got 38. That's nice. And is this a cave? It is. All right, let's head in. Be careful because there are certain plants in here that can hurt you. But see, that's the whole point. And the second point is this thing. Is these stalactites and stalagmites. 200. Okay, that's car that's has cobalt. And the bottom ones, the ones that come up, which are the stalagmites, should have other elements. We could use the silver later, but we probably aren't going to hang on to it at this point. All right, we got rid of the carbon that was there in the way. We're going to go ahead and grab the cobalt. Mining beam, we're going to charge up with that. And we'll grab more cobalt. Cobalt is handy because you can make batteries. Which is what we want. Getting rid of the carbon, get it out of the way. Get as much cobalt as we can. I'd like to make about 20 batteries to play it safe. And those batteries are used to recharge your shields on your person. So you don't have to use sodium. I'll gather up as much cobalt as I can. Okay. Now sodium, uh, pardon me, cobalt in conjunction with ferrite dust is what you make your batteries with. So there we go. Let's see how many batteries we can make. Twenty. Twenty-one. Well, let's make twenty-two. We'll see if we can get four more out of this. Let's see. That's 10. Good. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about hanging on to it. And we'll sell that later on. All right. Good deal. We got enough out of that. We've got plenty of carbon in the cave. Let's take a look around real quick to see if there's anything in here. Here's the plants I was talking about. As soon as you look at them, they start emitting fumes, so don't stand too close. You can get oxygen from them and sodium, depending upon which type you get. These are giving me oxygen, so that's good. Oh, we got two of them there. That's why it was out wacky on me like that. Oh, another one over there. That's also oxygen. Very strange. Okay, good. And I don't really see anything else in here. Not quite sure what that is, but it's just a plant. Alright. Interior lighting. Who knows? These plants here, the mar marrow bulbs, you can make take those and put them in your refiner and get sodium out of them. So... Purple sky. Pretty cool. Alright, so we got lucky with the cave here, but we didn't find any cave creatures. So we got unlucky on that one. I was hoping to find a cave creature, because getting those nanites would be really handy this early in the game. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a drive, is what we'll do. Where's our ship at? Over there. Dude, where's my ship? Every episode, just about. 
and we're going to head out and uh, we're going to go ahead and look for a landing pad that we can land on that might be near resources. And we aren't going to need any ferrite because I think we've got that covered now, don't you? How did we run out that quickly? We don't need much. Just got seven here. So I'll go ahead and get it. Now, if you let it go and it finishes up real quick here, what we'll do is we'll pick up the whole refiner and we'll get all the things out of it. We'll get the ferrite dust and whatever carbon's left. And there we go. Carbon, ferrite dust, and of course your refiner. I usually just stick my refiner somewhere over here just to get it out of the way. All right, so we have oxygen over here. We're going to leave this over here instead. All right, so we're in good shape. Is there anything else we can take from this site? No. You'll see these canisters here I've been ignoring. They require atlas passes to get into them, so that's why I haven't opened them yet. We do not have that ability. All right, so we need to try to find that last animal. So let's go ahead and find some place to go. Here we go. Now, one thing I always like to do, I like to fly in first person, and I assign it a hotkey. There we go. So I'm going to head this direction. If you hit the scanner, it'll look for anything on the ground, usually sites and campsites and things like that. What you're hoping to find is, you know, maybe a minor trading post or a landing platform or something along those lines. It's something that will allow you to land without using up any uh, launch fuel. Well, it's really the launch fuel that you use to take off with, of course. Let's be clear on that. But you use it up if you're not on a launch pad. Launch pad will help launch you. And you won't have to use that fuel. And if you're empty, it won't use any fuel to launch. That's good. Keep scanning. Something's got to be out here somewhere, right? Lots of gamma weed. Ah, okay, one of these platforms. Yeah, now, here's the thing. While it has a landing pad, is there a cave nearby that makes it worth our time? don't see one, so I'm not going to land here. I'm going to keep going. That was a, uh, basically a communication tower is all that was. Uh, let's see. Still nothing. Oh, that didn't come up. That will help you find a platform. But the problem is, is that I don't have any launch fuel to take off again, so we're going to leave that alone. All right, let's see here. Not seeing anything. That was the only thing we found so far. Let's get a little bit of a boost going on, see if we can get a little further out here. Looks like we have something coming up over here. Uh, nothing of note. All right. Let's head in a northerly direction here. I know this is annoying, but the point is, is that we really want to be able to get those nanites, because those nanites come in handy. Same thing. Is this abandoned? That's a shame. Oh, no, no, it's not. And you know what this is? That's a tower. We might be able to find a crashed ship with this. Interesting. 
So while we're here, let's go ahead and grab some stuff. Ion battery, excellent. This gives us a save. Okay. What did I tell you when we saved? So we're going to name this the Elan Paul uh, Permadeath Playthrough. There we go. And next time we save, that's the name that'll pop up. Gather up supplies. And oh, they have something down here on the ground, underground for us. Let's go ahead and grab that. Always good to grab them early because we haven't been introduced to them yet. So sometimes we can get two and three of them at a time. What do we got here? More nanites. Check out the cabinets inside because they're going to have stuff for us. This one now will give us nanites every time we open it. And we'll go ahead and get another... No, we don't want to sit in the chair. More navigation data. Let's go over here. There should be a stock transfer thing again here. Nope, not this time. More chairs and a whole lot of nothing. Oh, uh, there. A little cheap here this time. That's okay. All right, let's go inside the building and see what we can discover, shall we? There's the door. A lot of times there's an alien in here, but we haven't seen any. Let's go ahead and grab stuff while we're in here. Cube. Sometimes gives navigation data, sometimes gives nanites. There we go. Now this one... It's a transmission tower. An automated distress call went unanswered. Let's see if we can extract the coordinates, shall we? So it gives us a pattern. 1, 2, 6, 24, 120. You're supposed to figure out the pattern. So in this case, it's, you know, uh, 1 times 2 is 2. Times 3 is 6. Times 4 is 24. Times 5 is 120. Times 6, which will give you 720. We got a distress signal. Let's see where this ship is located. Oh, I got some ships flying over at the same time, too. Looks like we have something over to the north up there. Another building straight north of us, right there. So there's another building right in front of us. So let's check that out real quick. That's where it is. It is two hours away from us on foot. But we've also got this building down there. So we may check that out, too, while we're here. That looks like an interesting building. Let's check that out. We'll leave our ship here on the landing pad and take a run, shall we? Even if there's a storm or something, we'll be okay. And, of course, always look out for supplies. Oxygen is not just good for charging your um, life support. It's also good for other things. Keep that in mind. Now, I gathered up dihydrogen. We can make a dihydrogen jelly, which in turn can make us a... Oh, it's one of these. Okay. So, this is a research facility. If we, we can break in the front door, we can get some research, but these guys will start attacking us. Right now, he won't attack us. But what we can do is gather up some, at least some of the supplies nearby. We don't need the rusted metal this time. That's carbon, just in case we need health. And what it looks like, hey, you got a life support gel. I was just talking about that, wasn't I? Now, we could also pull the ship in over here with this, right? Because it doesn't use any launch thruster fuel up there, and it's landing on a landing pad here, so we don't need any launch thruster fuel when we take off again. So that's it. That's all we're going to find here, unless there's a cave nearby. Because remember, we wanted to find a creature in a cave. Is that a cave? That's a cave. Hello. Is there a ship landing? Nope, just flying overhead. Okay. Let's go check out the caves, because um, maybe we'll find the creature we were talking about. We got batteries now, so we're okay. When it hits 25%, we'll recharge. There we go. There. 
Let's recharge our life support as well. Which we'll use this. See? Very handy. It doesn't look like this is a cave. Looks like it's just a crevice of some sort. Let's check. Oh no, no it is a cave. It'd be great if we could find an animal in it. Sometimes they hang out on, on the surface. Looks like we have another unknown building over here too, if we want to check it out. You notice I uh, kind of circled it right there, so I knew where it was. So we can take a look at that. We've got plenty of time and energy to do so. And always check the ground, because even creatures underground will show up. Really want to find that creature. So let's see what this building is. We'll use our feet to get there. See if we can get up this hill. There we go. Ah, one of those, an unknown building. Those could come in very handy. Why don't we go ahead and hit that real quick? Because that could come in very seriously handy for us to get some extra cash right up front at the start. And who knows? Maybe we'll find something on the way. We've got plenty of batteries, so let's do it. Ah. I didn't even realize he was there. Hi, buddy. You're not what I'm looking for, are you? Oh, broken machinery. Check out the broken machinery when you can. And always pick up the broken... the, the technology underground when you can, too. Let's see what we got. Maybe sometimes they give out an upgrade. Nope, nanites again. Alright, let's charge it. Okay, we're going up that way. Looks like we got another piece of broken machinery, or is that just gases? Those are just gases, okay. Oh, nope, broken machinery right there. And more technology underground. I always try to take the opportunity to grab these. If any of you have seen, uh, have seen any of my permadeath runs, my no starter ship challenges and stuff like that, you'll know that that's always something I do. Oh, good. We're getting fortunate with these things. All right, here we are. No landing pad here, so we just got to get what we can do, and then get back. Okay, ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep in my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. Knowledge paves the way to the understanding of probability. The Atlas spoken fragments. The Atlas interfaces are their shadows. The monoliths are their scattered children. Together, they convey the wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. So we can seep help with language or we can seep knowledge. I go to knowledge because of the fact that uh, that usually gives you to a burial site, which you can pick up an ancient treasure, which is worth usually a lot of money. Even if it's just a couple hundred thousand credits, it's enough, you know. It's not a million, but you never know, right? So 21 minutes away by foot, we will take our ship and see what we can find if we can get some launch fuel. We haven't found any launch fuel yet, so we might have to make that. Fortunately, it's a pretty simple process to do. Um... You can get these two while you're here. These are... Wisdom. It says Wisdom of the Corvax, but it exists for every species. Stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape, a robotic life form towards, towards me. Light streams from the metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me, except the knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision. An echo of the strange vision I just experienced. That word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. So that will only happen the first time. Anytime you run across those, it will just give you the word as you run past. As long as you select them, of course. Any creatures? I don't think we were near any caves. No. No. Okay, let's head back. We'll head back to our ship and take off from the landing pad. I think we're going to make some launch fuel because I think it's time to do that. And we do need to make some life support gels. 
I'm just going to take a look because I want to see if there's anything over here. Humming sacks. That's what you look for. Humming sacks are inside caves. So look for an opening in the ground nearby. You can always burrow down if you need to, but... Usually when you see smoke coming out of one of these... Okay, and again, be careful of the... Ah, I can't get in here. We'll stay right here for just a moment. While we recharge. And then hope that a creature appears, but I don't think we're going to get one this time. We don't have a terrain manipulator to get down into this cavern, unfortunately. The humming sacks can also give up an albumin, which are worth a little bit. They're not worth a whole lot. But when you're early on and you don't have any money, that's the best way to go. All right. There we go. Okay, we're fully charged. And we don't see any animals. Okay, there we go. And we're out of there. What we can do is we can look a little bit further and see if there's another cave entrance nearby. Maybe we'll get fortunate. Looks like we did. Try not to drop into them by accident. Alright. This one shows promise. Where we could actually find something here. You can see we already have one of those plants. This one happens to have sodium this time. Subterranean organic structure. Let's take a look in the cave, because even though subterranean organic structures can be worth something. Again, looking to see if any animals show up. This is a big enough cave that something should show, but... Last animal is always the hardest one to find. Yeah, I don't think we can get that. Well, no animals want to pop up for us here. Birds outside, creatures overhead. Hello, back away. Even if there's a sentinel nearby, he can't usually get down here to do anything about it. So we'll grab the sodium while we can. Grab some oxygen while we can. And we'll probably end our first episode in the space station. Once again, I'll take a look around. Really want to find this animal. Really surprised, too, because this is a big enough cave that it should have it. Nope. I thought this went further. Oh, kind of does. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. Okay. Buried cache. Okay. And we need to check out our ship, too, right? Alright, so while we're here... We have a dihydrogen jelly. We can make a dihydrogen jelly and carbon give us a life support gel. So I'll make one more. Just to play it safe. Like, so we already got ten of these, which are worth half a million. That's pretty good. Uh, what else do we want? We also want to make a fuel. There it is. Starship fuel, which needs a metal plate. Thank heavens we have all that. I will make one of those for now, so we can recharge our launch fuel. Alright, good deal. Alright, again, any red dots? No red dots. I think I've waited down here long enough that something should have shown up. It's going to be stingy about giving me this creature. Try not to get lost down here, because again, you don't have a terrain manipulator to dig yourself out from. There we go. We'll go ahead and grab that too while we're here. There we go. One more check. Looks like we're going to have to give it up. Alright, out we go. Now, 
Now, straight up surfaces will allow us to get out using our jetpack without using any launch fuel. See? Uh, thruster fuel for our jetpack, that is. So, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to leave this planet behind. Let's go ahead and check out this uh, ship before we head to the space station. Oh, what do you know? More stuff. Don't always get anything out of those, but that time it looks like we got a, ourselves a battery. There we go. Ah, sodium nitrate. That's pretty good. I actually hurt myself with that. Go figure. Doesn't look like I broke anything, or else it would have told me that, yay, you broke something. That is actually a cave-like in structure. So, we could conceivably find a animal here. But I don't see one. And what we got is the Sentinels. Okay. That's a shame. This is in a good enough spot that I should be able to find something. I was hoping. One more look. Really, you can see how anxious I am. I want to really, really find this animal, but it is not giving me any animals right now. All right, let's go check out the crashed ship. So like I said, thrusters are pretty low right now. Uh, we're going to check out the treasure first. Then we'll check out the crashed ship, and then we'll go to the space station. Now with the crashed ship, what we're going to have to do is actually repair it. Which I don't think we can make... Yeah, we can make a hermetic seal. All right, so we'll worry about that later. May or may not need that. And it should be right over this rise here. Let's check. There it is. Now, the great part about these areas is that they're protected from the elements. So, while we're here, all you're going to have is the health. Just the oxygen levels. You don't have to worry about anything else. Except we can't dig. That's the biggest problem here. I don't know if we can get these. Oh, we can. I got that one. Let me see if I can get the other one. There should be one right here. Can't see it. Hold on. Oh, well, it helps to have your visor on. I don't know if we can get this one. Let me see. No. Maybe not. No, I don't think I can get them. That is a big problem. Let's see how many are close to the surface. Close enough that I can grab three. I don't think I can get to the casing, though. Oop, I can get that one. That's two. Let's see if this one's close enough to the surface I can get it. Ah! Hilarious. And... The big one should be... Hold on a second, where am I? Okay, see this, uh... Thing goes across right here, should be straight down from there. Right there. Which I don't think we're close enough to get it. Yep, we are. Just. I don't know if we can access it, but we're going to try. We did. We got it. Unbelievable. I can't believe that worked. So, 682 years old. Let's see how much value it is. 787,000. Very nice find. And we don't have to worry about digging here. Isn't that incredible? I just got an ancient artifact without having to dig. 
Fabulous. Can we launch? Launch? No, we can't. So we're going to have to use our launch fuel. And we're going to head down to that ship now. Check it out and see what we got. Uh, how far away is it? Four and a half minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into space. Now, it wants to seek answers among the stars anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. And I have a cat in the background that's getting annoyed at me. Probably because he wants to be fed and everybody's ignoring him. And I think we might have... Nope, haven't it hasn't registered us testing the systems yet, so we won't get that uh, communication at this part of our setting here. Alright, let's land right here and check it out. Looks like it might be a hauler. Hang on just a second here. All right. Just want to make sure the cat was taken care of. Yep, it is a hauler. They have plenty of cargo space. So one thing you want to do is you want to hit these things up and just check out what they have to say. The high-tech ship systems activate as I climb on board. The hologram appears before me. The lice in the mask where mask it wear seems wide and dim. The pilot calmly reports news of its imminent demise. And the noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard. The hologram disappears, leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind it. Some of them still look operational. So we look for certain transported goods or functioning technology. I'm going to go with the technology because there's certain technologies you don't get early on and you can get them now. This will give us a teleporter. Scan a blueprint and now I can make this myself. Teleport receiver. Very, very handy. Which we will make sooner or later. Let's check everything else out. Okay, what do we get? More nanites, of course. Search that, which we may or may not get something. That, and that, and that. Okay. Very nice. Okay, we're in good shape here. So, next thing I want to look for is I look for a cave. I always want to see if there's any caves around. Nope, don't see any. Can't wait to check out the rest of the system, too, because at some point we're going to want to check everything else out, too. All right, let's check out the ship now, shall we? Ugh, not very good. Not very good at all. It could still be worth some money. Uh, these are hermetic seal. We need to repair everything. So let's go ahead and compare. Um, we are going to claim the ship, and we're going to try to repair it. So it needs a metal plate. Hermetic seal. That'll take care of this. We need a launch. Okay, we need pure ferrite dihydrogen jelly. Let's get the dihydrogen jelly real quick since we can do that. And we need pure ferrite. So we need 50 of that. Let's get this out of the range of the ship so we can plant it down. And we're going to get 50 pure ferrite. We want to repair it so it can take off. That's the whole point behind this. Uh, let's see. Again, we need 50. You have limited space in your inventory, so I'll just make what you need. And you don't have to stay in here. That way you can keep an eye on everything in regards to your ship is concerned. Or your person, pardon me. And we got it. Very nice. Let's repair it. And is now space worthy as you can see so now here's the thing we need to get this to a space station right now this has nothing on board our ship but you notice I didn't put anything in its inventory so what we're gonna do is gonna take this to the space station and normally you can't get to the space station this early in the game but I'll show you a little trick we're not gonna be coming back to this planet let's get out into space see we just tested the other system part of the system here it's not telling us where the space station is. But what you can do is look for the trade lanes. Look for lines in the sky, and I'm not talking about the rings. Look for immo immo immovable objects that are in the sky. Let's go ahead and test our pulse engine, and then take it out, and we're going to get the next stage of our quest. Starship communicator. 
Incoming transmission source. Please identify yourself. I'm going to identify yourself. You are not alone. Follow the something. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. We're going to input the planetary coordinate, and it will take us to another planet. Could take us to the same planet, but normally it takes us to a different planet. Um, looking, 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 that planet. So let's head that direction, and we're going to take a look at the sky around us and look for, like I said, look for a space station. Let's stop for a moment and take a look around. You see all those convergence points over there? That is likely where your space station is going to be. It's going to be in this general area here. I don't think it's over here. Pretty certain it's not. That's a pretty ugly planet. But it's probably in this general direction. So let's head this general direction. We'll see. And take a look at the left. There's some intersecting lines on the left. We'll see if we can't find something as we get closer. Now, th those lines curve a little bit, so maybe it's not over there. I don't mo mind using up the pulse juice here. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. You can see it now, right? There, in an intersection in between. Right there. Let's head. No, not you. Oh, my gosh. Ah. I keep getting locked in just over to one side. It's going to lock us in no matter what. So we'll go ahead and head this direction. I don't think we have a choice. But fortunately, there's a space station nearby. Let's check out the planet. Do a little scan. Sub-Zero, so it's also a cold planet. Well, that is a cold planet, my bad. Not also. Now again, we have no shields. you got to be careful, because you could damage your ship pretty bad. Oh, see the space station on the right. Let's lock in on that. It won't lock in, so you're going to have to do it manually. We're off just a little bit. We'll scan that planet while we're at it. Also, Frostbound, we got a lot of cold planets around here. Watch the asteroids. And it will give us the famous music landing at the space station for the first time. There we go. So we're going to sell this ship off because we really don't feel like doing all the repairs. It's going to take too much to repair this ship, and we might get a couple mil out of it. All right, so we get rid of the ship over here we got to make sure we have enough inventory space on our person, which we should. Looks like we got plenty, yes. And there's nothing on that ship we need, so we're going to just go ahead and scrap it. Eh, not bad, two and a half mil. Claim it. And there we go. And it killed the music, of course. Let's go ahead and upgrade our exosuit while we're here. And I don't want to put it there. we got a hole in the middle of our unit right here. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. Oh, look at that. Give us a hyperdrive module. That's nice. Alright, so we've upgraded our suit. We get that one first one for free. We can check for technology in here, but honestly, we don't have any nanites except 274. We can't really get the good ones. Which, oh, it has a movement module. Oh, you stink. And even selling this one's not going to get us enough, which I'm going to go ahead and sell anyway. Alright, but we know it's up here. We can get it later. So that'll come in handy. Um, let's go ahead and sell the things that are on us, too, and the best place to do that would be with other ship owners. You look fine. So we'll sell this. Uh, what do we get? We have a storage augmentation. We're going to hang on to that for now because that could come in handy later. Let's get rid of the salvage data. I know that we should keep it for other things, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of it for now so we have some money. The nano cables. Uh, the radioactive moonstones, which are getting a four point, plus 4.7, so I'm getting more money for it. Uh, Subatomic regulators for 1.9, and the recycled circuitry. So the ship sale doesn't become units. You have to sell the parts. So we have 3.8 million now. That is really, really nice. 
anything we can buy from this guy. Um, let's get some wiring looms. We could always use those. I'm going to get about ten of them. It's a lot of money. So let's go ahead and grab them. Um, right is good for fuel. Grab that. Chromatic metal is always handy to have, so grab it if you can. He doesn't really have anything else. What we really could use... We'll grab some microprocessors. We can use those, too. I'm going to get five of those. Actually, ten. I'm going to get greedy. Because we've got the money for once. So that should get us a nice start to everything here. we got a really fortunate uh, run here. Uh, we'll hit him in a second. Let's hit this guy first. Some of these guys will have things different, especially if they have different ships. Like, see, he has, he has some hermetic seals here, perfinium dioxide. That is good for life support. Grab it. It's better than you making life support gels or using oxygen. This is very, very good stuff. Uh, we don't really need any of that stuff right now. Is he still there? No, he's not. But he's here. Got a guy with a fighter. Let's see what he's got. Got pyrite as well. Copper, which we don't really need right now. Okay. Not much, much I can use there. And the third guy, he's just left, so I'm going to check this guy out. What we're looking for is uranium. Uranium is a very good thing to use for fuel. Not ah, chromatic metal. I'll grab that too. The more chromatic metal you can get, the better. Pyrite will take a while for you to go through the, the amounts I've gotten so far. Up here is a trade terminal. And a traveler. What do you know? It's very happy that I made money. Uh, let's see. Copper, silver, gold, and ammonia. Okay. We really don't have a lot here I can use. Okay. Well, you're, if you, anytime you run into these translucent guys, check them out. Okay. Strange being tries to hand me something, but whatever it is, it is immaterial, shimming in and out of existence. Life form begins to cry, despairing at their own impending disappearance. For a moment, I see another universe, a place utterly unlike anything I've ever encountered. Stay with them until the end. The life in the universe consumed in a blaze of white, and yet the life form is still here, apparently unaware of anything that just occurred. As I leave, they ask if I've received any trouble readings. troubling readings. They are afraid something is happening to their world. So, that's pretty neat. But go ahead and talk to him a second time. You're going to get a special one that's the long one here. Ask where they came from. Costs you 100 nanites, but he gives you a spot on a planet that you can get something. So, it's a good idea to get, get that while you can. Again, I'm looking for uranium. Let me see if I can find some. Nope. I'm not going to grab more dioxide. I don't need any more right now. I haven't checked any of the haulers yet. Nope. You got the same stuff as the last fighter. Ooh. Oh my, I'd love to have you. That's an exotic, ladies and gentlemen. It always comes as an S-Class. Let's check his uh, menu first. He doesn't have anything I need. Let's check out the Lifeform ship here. Isn't that pretty? He's got three supercharged slots on it. And what's the price? 26 million credits. Yep, definitely can't afford it. But thank you very much for your time. I feel... Okay. Entity, do you have what I'm looking for? No. Same thing. I need a hauler is what I'm looking for. If anyone's got one out here. I'm going to check the back room in just a second. No. Tritium. Check out the back room and see what they got. Take a look around real quick. Make sure a hauler didn't land while I wasn't looking. Nice that they have an exotic there, though. If we can ever end up with a good amount of cash, we can grab it. But that's not exactly my favorite type of exotic, so. Uh, where's the terminal? There it is. Grab these while you can. Nanites or navigation data is what you get. Chromatic metal. I'll grab that. And dioxide. Okay. Okay. So, I think we got enough chromatic metal now. I don't think we really need any more for a while. Did we grab this one? I think we did. I think I remember running past and grabbing it. Okay. All right. Well, we didn't get any uranium. So, we'll have to keep an eye open for that because the uranium could come in handy. 
Let's put all this pyrite, uh, chromatic metal in my ship. I'm going to put the pyrite in there too, and any of these items that we don't use on a regular basis. Keep these on you, of course. These we're going to put in there, and this we're going to put in there. We'll use it later on a ship of our choosing. We'll keep the copper for now. This, very handy. And the oxygen can be used for constructing things. All right. So I think we're in good shape as far as starting is concerned. Maybe we ought to check the, change the way we look just to give us a better appearance. I don't really like the red, I'll be honest. Fortunately, there's a spot over here we can hit up. We'll just change things a little bit. I'm going to stick with Anomaly. I always like the tall. I'm always going to go with something a little bit different. I like that. It kind of reminds me of a Stormtrooper. You know, like a, uh, like a, one of the speeder bike versions. Nice accents to the helmet. I'm going to go with different colors. I've always preferred blue and yellow. I don't know why. It is just me. Bright yellow. And then a black accent. But it's going with the gut, with the visor, so I might go yellow on the visor too for this time. Torso. I'm going to go sleek. Again, blue, yellow, and we'll stick with black over here. We could go yellow again if we wanted to, but I'm going to stick with black. I think it looks neater. Armor. I like the sleek chest plate. I always prefer that. We're going to get the stripes. So blue, yellow, black. Gloves. Sleek, blue, yellow, black. Legs. Sleek, blue, yellow. Black, boots, sleek, one, blue, yellow, black, backpack. And I might change the leggings here in a second. Backpack, we don't really have much of a choice. Uh, we could go with a cape instead. And it will look nicer. Anyway. See? That's what I mean. It gives us the yellow emblem on the back. Let's go back to the legs for just a second because that looks a bit creepy. Um, let's switch the colors around. Let's go with all blue. Yellow on the armor. I think I like that. That looks pretty nice. Alright, good deal. Banner? Nah, we'll keep it for now. That's fine. Alright, so that'll be my look for now. And that's the way we're going to go through the series. We might change it if I die. But we'll see what happens. Alright, we do this to save it. In and out, and we're done. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and call it here, folks. Uh, this is Alon Paul signing off on Episode 1 of the Permadeath Story Mode Challenge. Again, we're going to go all the way through this. We're going to do everything. Please leave comments as you will, especially if you have trouble with the audio as well. I think I'm still having issues with it. I'll be checking that out. Um, but also make mention of any questions you have on the series. If there's anything you'd like to see me to, uh, or would like to see me expand on in regards to this. So, uh... That's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and see you guys in the next episode and keep playing that expedition. There's a lot more to come in that as well. Take care, everybody. And once again, we'll see you. <laughs> I can't get it in the next video. Take care, everybody.